Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today, in today's video, we're going to be working with the Java map function. We're going to be doing two examples: one with extracting all the usernames from this person object right here, and the other one we're going to be making new objects using the data of the persons here. Okay, so let's begin right away. Let's begin with creating a new list of username and the type has to be strings. So let's create list string and usernames. And we're going to be passing this list which gets generated when this method is, is executed. It will make this list and populate it and then pass it here as a parameter. So we're going to go and get the person list. We're going to stream it. And when we stream it, we can use the map function right here. So the map function gives you the person instance that is in this list. So it iterates over each object that is in this list. And you can name it whatever we, you want, but we're going to be naming it person here. So person, and then we use the arrow function, and we open it with curly braces. And as you can see, a map function always needs a return statement. So right here, we are going to be returning the usernames using the person instance that is already provided by the arrow function and then the method get the username to get the to get the username okay so here we're going to be collecting it to list because it's expecting a list so we are going to, we're going to be use the collect method and then the collectors to list okay this map, this piece of code, we can make it shorter by using method reference. So we're going to be do, doing just that. We're going to be using the person type. And here you can already see IntelliJ is helping and we're going to get the username. Okay. So person type double um, double um, double quote and get the username. And in order for us to see it in the console, we're going to be using the list that we just created. We're going to be using the for each method in this case. And we're going to pass the username, like always, as a method reference. And then we don't need the curly braces here because we're just going to be printing it out. And using the system that out print the then passing the username. We can also make this shorter by using method reference and we're just going to be doing that using system that out double and then to print it. Okay, so now when we run this method, we're going to be seeing Josh and then on the console. So let's run it. And there we go, you can see Josh and then so to, to summarize this, we're going to be, we have the person that's here, we stream it, and then we map it, and then this method reference is going to pick the username of each object that is going to be iterated in the map, and then at the end, this map is returning a stream of any object that you return, and we're going to be collecting it to a list. And then, as you know, we'll print it on the console. Okay, so now we're going to be creating a new object. And this object is right here. And this has only one field that we're going to be putting with data of the person. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's begin like we just did, but this time with new objects type and then name it new objects and our again string this list and then map it again and here we're going to be using the person naming it whatever you want um, the lambda function and open the curly braces 
so there we go now we open it and here we're going to be returning the new object that this map is going to um, catch and then we're going to be collecting it to a list so collectors that to list okay so we're because we're expecting a list here so let's return the new object and since I'm using Lombok we I can use the builder right away so I don't have to do this so new object is new object we can just use the met the type and then use the builder and here you can set any attribute so we're going to set the new object field and then populate it with data of the um, person object and we're going to be using the username again so get the username so let's let's make it more descriptive so username is this one and then let me break it like over here and then we're going to also use the email that is right over here so let's put a space or like that yes and then email and then use the email of the person instance get email okay so we're going to be see a line printed with username and just like we created here this is missing something oh, it's missing a plus sign okay so we can also make this shorter to just remove the curly braces and don't use the return because anything that you put here is going to be returned automatically Okay, so also remove the semicolon so the map function knows that it has to return this whole statement. Okay, so now we're going to be using again the for each to print it on the console. And let's just name a new object and then system that that prints the new object that get new object field here okay so that's it let's run it and we're going to be seeing oh we have to call it here so let me comment out this one and then stream to new custom object and get person data again okay so let's run it and we're going to be seeing the username and the email just like we did here Join username josh email and with another the same thing okay so that was for the map function i hope you understand it quite well if not you can leave comments and ask questions in the comments okay so i will see you in the next video